Hello YouTube friends um, Today I want to show you something very important uh, On the blogs, different blogs I saw that uh, you can use uh, Google Chrome remote desktop extension to manage uh, computers uh, remotely so in that case when you sign into one Google uh, Chrome remote desktop extension if you sign on that you cannot sign with another account and they were explaining it is too difficult how to switch accounts today I want to show you how to do that very easily so follow me so at the first place we need to have a uh, Google Chrome installed so as you see right here at the top right corner next to the minimize button nobody is here which means it is a guest so we need to add a personal account in that uh, um, place so we need to click that and uh, manage people or sign in to Chrome so either way we can uh, sign to Google Chrome so I have my uh, Gmail account so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, that is me gonna sign on that so sign in to Chrome I use uh, my Gmail address to uh, sign into the Chrome so hit next so it will automatically uh, retrieve my account from the Google account and ask me the password I'm gonna go ahead and put my password the next so right now see the difference right here my name is appeared at the top corner next to the minimize so okay got it so I am right now the Chrome user so right now I can do different operations so the first thing I want to do is I want to manage this computer and my other computers at home using this Google Chrome so to the right corner there are three dots so go ahead and click that dots and go to in the setting then in the extension scroll all the way down then get more extensions so in this search uh, place we need to write google chrome remote desktop so here we will get a uh, um, the Chrome Remote Desktop different applications and the one that I need is Chrome Remote Desktop so when you click that it will tell you like install this app for my case I already installed that extension you will see it right here in my uh, extension list so simply I can just enable and disable the uh, extension to use it or not so this means it's already installed so I'm gonna go ahead and um, click that extension in my extension list and launch the app so this will launch the app for me so here you can use there are two things one when you need remote assistant somebody will come into your PC I mean remotely and assist you doing something and you can arrange how many I mean whatever the number of PCs that you have actually it is limited so you can register your uh, PCs and go ahead and manage it just remotely so this one I'm gonna get started initially I register different computers remotely so I have different computers 
and right now uh, I want to add this specific PC that I have with me right now I want to enable the remote connection with it so I can sign in anywhere in my phone Android or iPhone and manage this connection so enable that and you when you enable it you need to download a chrome remote desktop host in a sailor you need to have this one in all the computers you want to manage remotely through a google chrome remote desktop extension so go ahead and accept uh, the installation open with the uh, google chrome so we will start downloading the host installer so when you finish uh, we will install it I can close this one and totally I can minimize this one so this is the Google Chrome remote uh, desktop manager it's on the way to download my download is almost 25% so my download is already done so I'm gonna go ahead and click that uh, and this little package installation but very essential for the remote desktop uh, operation so here our Google Chrome will ask me and in order to uh, start the service it will uh, require the pin for the access from another location so this pin is the authentication purpose so i'm gonna put my password so it should be a um, very strong password so enabling the connection for this computer and okay so the remote connection for this computer is ready so right here you can manage uh, like different computers right here so as you see it, it is grayed out because the computers are already offline so I will show you the thing I mean the target why I'm recording this video for you so in my account this BIRR you see it is grayed out I can do anything right click click I can do uh, new things over here so this account is linked directly to the Google Chrome account that I signed before so the problem is you cannot switch this account to use another account in order to use the google uh, remote desktop connection so what we have going to do is the following process so this google chrome uh, remote desktop manager is just associated with the my account as you see it in my name Bruhano so I'm gonna right click at the bottom and pin this program to the taskbar just to see it easily so I'm gonna close that and what we have to do is people need to sign out this one and log in with the different account to use or to see another computer register another that account so that is not the case we need to add a person to the Google Chrome first so here is the step one click this one and manage people as you see it at the top I am the only person logged into this Google Chrome so manage people right there and all the way at the bottom right corner I add person so I have a person name called um let me do my uh son name n a t h a n nathan so create a desktop shortcut for this user i mean we can do but uh it's not necessary 
and you can do the best thing for this is if you create an account or a google chrome account for your child or little kids you can just supervise what they are doing in the google chrome and manage what they are uh, watching and everything so that's the best thing that i see here so save right here so nathan is now the owner if you minimize this one still brand with there so nathan is another person right here added uh as a user so right here in nathan as you see at the beginning when i start it was saying sign into chrome for nathan it is saying the same thing so i'm gonna go ahead and sign with for nathan with the following gmail address so we need to follow the same process for the same thing that we did for Brano. so we need to uh, enter pass our gmail next the password is very strong password um, next and Nathan is signed in so okay get it if you click here Nathan is coming so it is signed so here what I'm going to do is as I as I told you before go ahead and go in the setting then in the extension scroll all the way down get more extension so type google remote desktop extension so this will bring you to the uh, app list which is already installed but we need to share it to this uh, specific account so go ahead and launch that up you see this so this jvdbirr this account came back to the google chrome so when you say get started for this specific uh, user account there is one computer already registered under this account so I can this is by chance this computer is online so I can click and connect to this computer so let's do and pin this one to here too so I'm gonna close everything to figure out and to show you what is going on here so when you want to uh, connect to another computer through the remote desktop connection specifically to Google Chrome so we have here two Google Chrome accounts so the first one when I click it it will launch with the first user account which is BIRR as you see it at the right top corner and when I click the second app which is the same remote desktop manager but it is signed in as different email account so the computers registered under this account and this account are totally different so we can access or switch accounts like this so the easiest way to do this is the way that i showed you just adding the google chrome another user so this is this user is already registered and you can just click manage and add people and follow the step by step process so just to show you i can click this account and connect to the other computer just fully but it will ask me the password for that remember when we create the other when you connect the other computer we 
created a strong pin so don't ask me for this connection again and enter your strong password so when you hit connect it will directly connect to uh, the other computer all right Yay! by the way this is a turbulent system it is connected there and when you want stop sharing which means two-way controlling you can control it from this and you can control it from the other physical computer so this is a way how to do or how to manage a remote desktop connection so if you lost a connection you can just reconnect it so this is how to make full screen right here deleted buttons like regular windows so guys i hope you enjoyed this video click subscribe and you'll get some related videos thank you so much have a good day please subscribe don't forget to subscribe and hit thumbs up thank you for watching this video you can always comment me out thanks so much